surprise at the end? Uh, I think uh, the biggest thing is just dealing with adversity. Uh, when, you, when you're playing in these type of football games, not everything's going to be going to be great. You're not going to get everything the exact way you want it, but uh, you have to find a way to find a way to win, find a way to fight. And I felt like this last game definitely prepared us with being down 24-0 of just finding a way to, to come out on, on top in the end. Patrick, your teammates talked a lot about that speech you gave at the end of the first quarter, but they relied on that. I'm wondering what you relied on to give that speech and obviously, you know, was anyone talking to you in those moments? Yeah, I mean, people, we all kind of communicate with each other. I think that's the great thing about this team is that I'm not the only leader on this team. There's leaders all across the board, every single position group, uh, all around the team, offense, defense, and special teams. Uh, but uh, what I rely on is just going out there and competing. Uh, no matter what the score is, winning or losing, I'm going to get my best effort on every single play. Uh, that's how I've been. That's how I was raised. And uh, I, that's how this team kind of flows. What prompted you? I just wanted to make sure everybody was still in the, with the right mindset. Um, with everything that had happened at the beginning of the game, I, felt, I, felt, I still felt like we were doing good things. We just weren't executing at a high enough level. Uh, so I just wanted to make sure that I kind of went to those guys and let them know that. And uh, I think that just comes with just knowing, knowing your teammates, knowing uh, what, how the game's going, and uh, knowing how to get back on, that, on it and get back to where you, where you need to be at. Yeah, I mean, definitely more comfortable. I think that's the biggest thing. Uh, being that first game back off of the injury, uh, you don't know exactly what to expect. You trust the trainers. You trust all the doctors who, who say you're good to go, but you still don't know. You haven't ran at that speed with the pads on and game speed. Uh, so definitely feel more comfortable now kind of having the games under my belt and uh, been lucky enough to have been healthy uh, late this late in the season. Now, you're back at the weekend of the AFC Championship. What is your kind of feeling or anything you're trying to get from going into this one from last season? Yeah, I think just trying to prepare for everything. I think that's a big thing. Uh, last year, uh, they, they caught us a little off guard with the coverages that they played at the beginning of the game, and we made adjustments and were able to score points uh, later in the game. But you want to make sure that you're that you're just preparing for everything. You know that this is a good defense. Uh, they do a, do a lot of different things, play a lot of man, they play a lot of zone, and so you know that they're going to throw uh, different coverages out there against you. And so just trying to prepare yourself for whatever whatever their game plan is, and trying to adjust as quickly as possible. Yeah, I mean, he's a, he's a natural-born leader. I mean, that's just who he is. Uh, he doesn't have to do anything other than be himself. Uh, he, he goes out there every single day, and, and just by his attitude, his mindset, he's, he's leading other guys. And I think that, that that's huge when you have guys like that around the team. And, uh, I mean, obviously his play speaks for itself, but the way he's able to just every single day be great, uh, I mean, it, it really does uh, spread throughout the team. When you say be himself, can you just elaborate on that? What, what, what do you see in him, the, the traits that make him himself? I mean, you see it in practice every single day. I mean, y'all see the, how he acts and how he's how energized and, and how he, he's really uh, going as hard as you can every single play. He does that exact same stuff at practice. And it, it's, it's funny to watch at the same time. It inspires you to be great every single day, every single play. And that's just the, the type of guy that he is. Do you compete with him that way in terms of uh, trying to have that kind of energy? Yeah, I mean, I, I always try to uh, do bring energy to practice and do those things. But I think the best thing about this team is that everybody does that. And, and if someone is not having the best day, we pick each other up and, and go out there and, and, and use each, feed off each other's energy. And so I think that it, it's great to have guys like that all throughout the team. After last year's title game, uh, Travis revealed that maybe you guys weren't necessarily ready for the physicality of what the Patriots brought. Different team this year. What can you do to ensure, OK, you're going to be prepared from the get-go? So maybe there isn't a deficit. Yeah, I mean, obviously, kind of like I said earlier, I mean, you have to be prepared for everything. I mean, the Titans are a physical team. They're a team that's going to get up and challenge you uh, at every every aspect of the game, uh, offense, defense, and special teams. And so we understand that, and uh, we understand that's going to be a great challenge, but we're just going to prepare ourselves to to be ready for whatever's out there and execute our game plan at a high enough level. And regarding leaving the pocket, you just seem like you're, you're back to where you were probably going into week one. I know there were some different injuries this year where you might have gotten more tentative. Are you 100% to where you were mentally willing to, to go in? Yeah, you have to be. I mean, when, whenever you're in the playoffs playing against these teams, these defenses that, that, are, that, are, that are great defenses, you have to be able to use everything that you can. And uh, that, if that 
calls for me scrambling, I'm going to do that. If it calls for me sitting in the pocket and making the throw, I'm going to do that. And I think that's the, the great thing about football is every game is different. You're going to have a, a different things you can do one game, you can't do another game. And so last week it, it called for me to scramble, and now this week we'll see what what, what it takes to win. Patrick, this was the last couple weeks ago that you know, one of the things that you really worked on was maybe not going for the home run all the time, that there's something else you could take. This game, you, you, you took off Rand. Was that an example? Yeah, I mean, I think I just, I, I, just understanding Coach Reed's game plan and knowing that the the the, the big plays are going to come and he's going to dial up the plays where you can take the shots. Uh, I think that having that experience, more and more games, that I really understand that more now and know that uh, I'll, I'll obviously want to want to go for the big shot with all the speed and, and playmakers we have on the field, but just let it come to you and not try to force it. Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, with the Titans, I mean, the, the, the physicality, uh, the, the t determination that they play with, offensive, defense, and special teams, I mean, they really, they're going to get after it every single play. They're going to fight for every single yard. Uh, their defense is going to fly around to the ball. They'll, they'll chase down a runner if he breaks. They're not going to give up on anything. Uh, so I think the biggest thing is just trying to match that, trying to go out there and uh, give everything you have to, in order to go out there and play a good football game and, and try to come out with the victory. What did you all, what did you all learn from that loss? Yeah, I mean, obviously that, that they're going to fight to the end. I mean, that was the, the first thing. I mean, being up uh, two scores late in the game like that, usually you, you're kind of you're good to go and you can kind of just run up the clock. But knowing this team and their coaching staff and their players, they're going to fight to the very end no matter what. Okay, thanks, guys. Uh, you know, just trying not to peak too soon. It's um, still early in the week, but, uh, you know, a great opportunity. Uh, you know, obviously play in front of Kansas City and play in front of the world. And to be on this stage, um, I think it's everything you work for, uh, especially myself, uh, being in my seventh year, uh, going through what I've gone through early in my career. Um, you know, uh, to be in this position, uh, it's a blessing. Can you find yourself like staying up late at night, you know, 2 o'clock in the morning, <laughs> I guess, knowing the game that I got coming up this Sunday? Probably not two o'clock, but you know I'm, I'm up. I'm up late at night, right before I go to bed. I'm I'm visualizing plays um, that need to be made. Um, I'm thinking about you know what do, what what do the Titans like to do? You know what's their favorite route concepts? Um, so uh, I'm visualizing myself Sunday. You know being a guy that can help my team. Right, we're going to talk to you about tackling a lot of different people. Uh, you know, Derrick Henry's kind of a different beast than maybe mm -hmm. anybody else in the NFL right now. It's, you know, no defense is designed to have one-on-one tackles. So like, how do you guys get yourself? Yeah, man. Um, you know they're, they're so big up front. I think their offensive line is, you know, really underrated. Um, you know they're mean, they're nasty. Um, you know they believe in themselves. They play together, um, and, and I think that ultimately they believe in the guy behind them. Um, I think Henry, you know, obviously put together a, a great season. Um, you know, done a lot of great things for his team, and they're really leaning on him. And I think the mentality is, you know, somebody's going to have to stop him. Um, somebody's going to have to make a tackle on him um, if we want to get to Miami. So, um, you know, uh, it's one goal, one objective uh, to, to win the game. But uh, in order to do that, we know we got we to gotta slow down on 22, no doubt. Yeah, I mean, like I said, he, he's a great back. Uh, it's hard to kind of keep those guys bottled up all game. Um, I think the most important thing is, you know, we got to finish the game strong. Um, you know, if you watch a lot of Derrick Henry, um, he gets stronger as the game goes on. Um, the, his first halves, they aren't that great. Um, but second half football, he takes off. So, um, you know, we got we to gotta be well rested, hydrated um, in order to, to kind of Finish, finish, finish the game. Um, you know, really try to compete against him and slow him down when it matters the most in a four quarter, four minute drive, six minute drive, seven minutes left. I remember last time we played him, it was nine minutes on the clock. They were down by nine and they kept feeding him the ball. So, uh, you know, uh, you, you know that they believe in him. So, does he become more effective late because he's more to runs in a more determined fashion, or do defenders become wary of tackling or physically tired of the challenge? I think it's a combination of both. You know, like I mentioned, um, you know, even when they're down, they're still feeding him the ball. So 
you know, it's kind of like, you know, playing basketball and your coach tell you, keep shooting. And so you build that confidence. You, you know that your team believes in you. And I think that's the kind of confidence they're playing with. I think that's what they're, you know, looking forward to. Um, and um, it's been working well for them. Yeah, man, um, you know, he's a Christian man, um, a lot of faith. Um, you know, he's a believer, and uh, I think ultimately he believes in us. You know, uh, I can remember earlier instances in the season where, you know, we weren't necessarily playing well. Um, he continued to be positive. Um, obviously, he detailed things uh, much more, um, but I think he's always been about us. He's always been about his group, and I think he has a – I think he has a good feel for putting his guys in, <laughs> in, in good positions and, you know, positions that favor their abilities the best. Charlie, last week's game was uh, your first extended playing time without Kevin Durant. How do you feel like you guys adjusted without him? And his absence maybe having him do that first touchdown that Houston scored the other day? Well, I probably, probably wouldn't say that. Um, just, just really miscommunication on, on our part. Um, but uh, I think no doubt we missed him, you know. Uh, made a lot of splash plays for us. Um, so uh, obviously, Dan, I have to step up again. Uh, I thought he played well last week. And um, you know, anybody that's filling in for him, um, uh, just, just understand that you know, you're replacing a guy that, that made a lot of plays. So I uh, think it's important to kind of keep that in your mind going forward, knowing that you know, your team needs you because you know, we counted on Juan you know, a whole lot th throughout the regular season. Back in 15, you got hurt at the end of the year. Yeah, man, uh, I think back in 15, um, you know, being a part of that team and obviously not being able to finish, um, you know, it was devastating for me. Uh, you know, I really felt like, you know, I was a part of that team and, you know, I, I, I had a certain identity within that team. And uh, to not be out there, uh, you can kind of, you can see it affect your team in a, in a sense. Um, but I think now, man, I'm, I'm, I'm so blessed, so fortunate to uh, be healthy, uh, to, to, to be around people that, that, that believe in me. Um, and I think ultimately all those things uh, has really helped me kind of take a step back, reflect on this week, and, you know, be grateful um, of the position that I'm in right now. Yeah, no doubt about it. Uh, he's a rookie, but he's a great receiver. Uh, I think he has a lot of potential. Obviously, uh, his, his production speaks for itself. I think the most important thing with him is when he catches the ball, tackle him. Uh, he's one of those guys, when he gets his hands, hands on a ball, um, he can make a lot of people miss. So uh, I think that's the part of his game that, that really separates him from, from, from most rookies and, and most wide receivers in the league. Yeah, I think I think this week, um, I think it's an emphasis on really a sense of urgency, right? Uh, you want to get out there, uh, you want to start the game faster, you want to start the game better. Obviously, defensively, uh, can't have any blown coverages on the first series. Um, Got to be able to tackle and get off the field on the first series, and uh, so uh, I think that's our mindset. Uh, so I think it was good to kind of go down 24 nothing uh, last week, and obviously to. To win that game was, was good, but um, I think it, you know, it gave us some coaching points, uh, gave us some things that uh, we could work on, and um, so uh, that's what we're going to do this week. Tyron, I was curious what you were going through your head when you were watching these guys play in the AFC Championship last week, probably on TV, wherever you were at, and you didn't know you'd be coming here. What's it like now that this is kind of something that you're finally getting a chance to do, that you've watched your team and now you watched them probably last year get a chance to be a part of it? Yeah, man, like I said, man, so grateful. Um, for the opportunity um, to, to really be in this position. Um, obviously, I knew when I came here, it was going to be a lot of hard work to, to get back to this point. Um, you know, uh, so really, really more, not, not so proud of myself, but proud of everybody around me. Um, uh, the commitment that everybody really had, uh, even our younger guys. Um, I think everybody's committed, um, and I think the coaches are doing a great job as well.
Yeah, and I, you know, I think ultimately, you know, um, you know, my, my job isn't done, you know, uh, and, I, and I think being a leader, uh, being a guy who has, you know, big picture goals, um, you know, I understand that, you know, in order to, to, to really accomplish something, you gotta, gotta finish it. So uh, I think that's my mindset to, to never really get caught up on, you know, being an all pro or being a leader or being a landlord. Obviously it's good to kind of have those feelings and emotions, but uh, I think ultimately, you know, my, my only job here is to, to finish the job.